is Monty Mary with the Scots. Today we're going to talk about stress, things you can do to reduce stress in your life. What's up? It's Monty Mary with the Scots. Today we're going to talk about stress, things you can do to reduce stress in your life. This is the tip that's worked the best in my life, and I know it'll work in yours if you give it a try, is pray. Pray. Ask God. The scripture said, ask God in every situation, bring your petition to him, and he will give you peace. It says, cast all your cares on the Lord, and he will sustain you. Through the most stressful, painful times, he will sustain you, he'll give you peace that surpasses all understanding. Sometimes we get so stressed out, but if we just talk to God, just like I'm talking with you, just let him know, God, I'm stressed, I need your help, Lord, just give me a direction, and he will do that. All these other tips I'm gonna give you throughout the day will help you, but the number one tip is you have to pray and ask God. So it's not about religion, but it is about creating a relationship with the one that created you because he has all the answers so tip number one is pray find time in the morning and night pray throughout the day just pray and ask god for guidance today is just me and the kids natalie's out of town she's in north carolina my mom uh, she was not feeling well so i had to call off work so we're gonna hang out with the boys today uh, keep watching because i got you can use in everyday life that will help you uh, to reduce your stress. All right, so let's go check and see what Eli and Russell are doing. <clears throat> Lord knows. Um, yeah, man, let's go. What is that? Okay. It's kids, man. It's crazy. It's crazy, 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 crazy. What are y'all doing? Eggs. What's some eggs? Yeah, eggs. Eggs and popsicle? Yeah. You open up the refrigerator? Yeah. Saka! This, uh, this! 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 Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. You want pizza? Yeah, pizza. Pizza, pizza, pizza. You said pizza, man. I don't see no pizza. Oh, here it is. Watch out, watch out, watch, watch out. You want a popsicle? <laughs> you want a popsicle? Yeah. I want a pizza. I want a pizza. Alright. <laughs> How long is this going in the microwave? <laughs> Eli, get down. Okay. Here. Come here, Russ. Two ball bags. Got bacon or bacon? Hey, listen, you got bacon. What? Got bacon. You gotta break it? Right. What's wrong? What's wrong? Here. Here, let me break it up for you. Um, I see a whale. A whale. Dude, stay active. Work out at least three times a week for at least 30 minutes a day. Studies have shown, I don't even need studies. I know when I work out, I feel a hundred times better. Doing something to get your heart rate up. And also when you work out, it's gonna release those endorphins. It's gonna get oxygen, get that blood flow to your brain. 
you're gonna feel better, man. You can do daily, keep it up. If we're doing workouts that we can't sustain, there's no point in us doing it. The person will get way better results walking every day than the person that runs five miles three times over six months. Makes sense. So do what you can do physically, reduce that stress down. So you're gonna be up here, stress level is gonna bring it down a little bit lower for you. What are they doing? Hey! What are you doing? I want this. I want this. Russ, what are you doing? Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me this. Baby wipe. You don't have to need a baby wipe. <sighs> what are y'all doing? Get out of the bathroom. It's not time to brush the teeth. Brush it at night. Brush it on the night. You like what? Boom. Alice, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. Always gotta brush the teeth. Yeah. All right, put it on there. Here. Brush. Ah. Do another tip that really will help you reduce stress is getting enough rest. You gotta get rest. If you don't get rest, you're gonna be short people, you get more arguments just because you're sleep deprived. Getting rest will automatically reduce your stress levels because you're gonna feel better. If you feel better, you're gonna do better, you're gonna treat people better, you're gonna be better prepared. It's gonna help keep you healthy. Er, help keep you healthier. It's gonna help. You know, reduce. It's gonna help reduce those stress levels a lot. So make sure you get your sleep, man. Hopefully these kids go sleep. Y'all tired? What's wrong, nut? Oh my god, man. Is that you look? See, you just hit your Eli. Give him his juice. Give him his juice. Take your juice, Russ. I want to go. Okay, okay. Russell, Russell, Russell. Here, baby. Still at it. Still here. Done. Done. Done with what? So back to reducing stress. Another tip that I've been using, I try to use. It's easier said than done because it's more like, hey, watch. Don't do that. Watch out. No, leave him alone. Leave him alone. He hitting it. Stop. Leave him alone. What? Leave him alone. You can't do that to him. Let's get me. So another tip that you can do, it's easier said than done, is like when you're in the moment of feeling stress, in the argument with your wife, your husband, whatever, like think about it. Like, is this going to matter tomorrow? Is this going to matter six weeks from now? Is this going to matter six months from now? And the answer is no. There is no point of us getting stressed out, getting worked up about it. And it's not even gonna matter a day from now. Like, why are we stressed out? We got enough stuff that's going on in our lives that really need attention and for us to really pray about. And I'm worried about something that is not gonna matter two weeks from, you know, not gonna matter two weeks from now. Like, really? It don't make sense. So think about it. Think at the big picture in that moment. It's stressful, but is it necessary stress or is it something that you can control and you just being petty? Yeah. So just look at that, man. Like, I, we are stressed out over stuff that has no weight, holds no weight for us. Like, it's not gonna matter tomorrow. It's definitely not gonna matter uh, four months from now. You know what I'm saying? So try to do that, man. Try to. It's easier, like I said. It's easier said than done. But if you can master that skill, it'll help you out. It will reduce your stress from up here to down here. Hello. Nice and Not jump on the thing again. That's enough. You hear me? Yeah.
Yeah. Hi guys. What's that? Um, my work bag. My laptop bag. I'm beat up. You beat up? What do you mean? I might have to order something. Real quick, you got any tips for reduce stress? Tips for reduce stress? Um, yeah, I would say um, not like meditate, but I mean it just like like focus on your breathing, um, write things down, like. Yeah, like I was listening to a podcast on the plane and it just made me think of ways to improve my life so it just took my mind off of what I was going through in that moment with like, my headaches oh. and stress what was that? I don't know these kids are so bad what was that? he probably threw a ball Mommy. Yeah. so Eli just threw a ball and broke it Mo, Mo, Mo. All right, everybody's here now. She is tired, I guess. No, I'm to get ready for that. Russ, what's wrong? All right, so we about to call it a night. We're tired. It's only like nine o'clock, but it feels like it's midnight. I've had the kids all day. Natalie's been traveling. <laughs> Eli's beating people up. I mean, Russell. Russell, Russell's beating people up. Russ, why are you doing that? Stop, hey, stop. stop. And then this guy has not had sleep all day, so we're tired. So we probably won't see y'all. Probably won't do another video until after Christmas. So Merry Christmas. Remember, God, family of everything, we out. Say something to the people, E. You ready for Christmas? Yeah. What do you want? Um, I want toys kisses. You want toys for Christmas? Yeah. Russ, what do you want? Mm -mm. What do you want? What do you want? Uh. <laughs> what? Russ, stop. I pinched his finger. <laughs>